Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Batman. In today's video, we're back with XCOM Chimera Squad, where I've forgotten which one of these things that I did. I think I I don't remember what I did last time, but I kind of want to do the side grenades just to see that difference in the story, or at least in the mission itself and how they play. I think I've been picking the same of these things, like the next operation they're calling it. I'm pretty sure it's a part of the investigation itself. It's just the same thing every time, so I'm hoping this one's going to be slightly different by choosing to develop the flashbang grenades to be the dark event. Uh, <coughs> I want to see what this ride ability does. In my personal one, doing the other order, the last order that I needed to do, I have ride being taught now, I think, but I can't remember what it does. Suddenly drains life from. Oh wow, I never noticed that it, you can just read this and it tells you what you get. Sonically drains life from a target in melee range. This damage damages the target and heals the user. This is also usable by shelter side fracture. That's a pretty powerful move. Hopefully that's gonna get Until done before. We have a global financial system. City 31 requires hard currency. Fortunately, so does the progeny. We believe they're nearly out of money. Discover how they plan to replenish it. Okay, I have, that was the same one that I did then. Um, we did end up taking shelter off of the team, so I guess we get twerk back on it and we can see what tag team does because I didn't read what that one did I don't have anything to pull down These two are the only ones that are bad. This one's finna get bad in a second But I don't think I need any more money right now. This one gives me a lyrium, which I also don't need much more of This one gives a lyrium too I'll go with this one though because I'll, I'll need the lyrium faster than I need the money Actually, let's look at the unrest. It'd be even either way. But we get more. That's probably why we're getting more money out of this one. Because the field team increases how much money we can get from doing events on these uh, platforms. I do have more field teams I can put down. And I probably should have built it here. It would have been cheaper. Uh, oh, well, at this point. But that's both of these. They both have level threes now. I'll still go for this one because this is the one I was talking about. Oops. I need to do her loadout. the region weird for now when i play this game by myself too now i always think of it in the form of a video so sometimes i'm, for, I'm forgetting what i have because i can't remember so i'm doing stuff differently in that other playthrough too and uh the way i think of it in my head is like oh they haven't seen this let me show them this but i'm not playing for anybody so it's weird hostile vip is present and also throws off my thoughts when i'm trying to play the game and talk about stuff that we have because now i'm confusing myself doesn't make sense uh, she should have that. Yeah, cause Shelter had it. And Claymore last. That's fine. Follow me. Throwing grenades. There's some video that started popping up on my feed. I don't know why. Maybe cause I started posting. Not even posting, but. Well, by the time this goes out, it'd be posted, but still, I just started like uploading videos of XCOM to my one channel, but on my other channel, it gave me suggested videos of XCOM 2 and talking about how perfect the game is. I guess there's something where you can get a one turn victory, which is pretty cool. Anything we can kill. Doesn't look like there's any acolytes, or not acolytes, but thralls or. No, acolytes are the one. There's only an acolyte as the weakest one, though. I work and go for the codex. Which I'm gonna do. Because they're gonna be. Well, not even a. They're not that big of an issue to deal with damage wise, but they just teleport all over the place. 
Uh, that's the acolyte. 95 here. But it might copy itself automatically because that's what they do when they're about to die. They make a copy, I think. Or at least they did that one time and now it's thrown off what I think they can do. Here's the VIP. Capture a fable. So the VIP is also fleeing. If they move, I'll shoot. So it's not a civilian VIP. Didn't know that that entrance was going to give us Overwatch. Wasn't paying attention to that at all. First thing I want to do is smash from this Come angle. On, safety. He did not wait for them to get to safety before he did that. Now, they're pretty grouped up over here. I wonder if I can hit them all with this move. Uh, I can't get far enough to use it. This is what the issue is going to be. But they're disoriented enough for the number two person. Use team up on Claymore. That way he can go a little earlier in the turn. And you can use subdue. That might do more damage, actually. Or at least let uh Claymore use subdue for his movement to get closer. Whenever we get to, to that point. Let's see, can we get a turn coat this far? We can get both of these with a turn coat grenade. Which might berserk them for their turns, meaning they'll skip their turns also. It said the number eight person was immune, but they're still berserk, so that's fine. Or at least still taking the shot at enemies. Or their team. Okay. You can drop this bomb. Drop it right here. So I know stuff is going to start moving towards the exit and that at least blocks off that direction for them. Mm. Or I could take out, well I should take out the number two person. That way they don't even have a chance to do damage to us. Although I thought, oh there it is. That wasn't loaded in at first a second ago, but whatever. Doesn't matter since it's in now and I didn't get stuck in a wall from it or something like that. Cause that's also happened quite a few times recently. I am still up. You should have ducked. He has nothing to duck behind, so I don't know what she's talking about. Whose turn is it now? Can she see this area? Drop poison Go spit on. right there. Which blocks off this entrance because I know it's not going to force them to run through poison. So they're probably going to start coming through this entrance now. Or not this entrance, but these windows. Who can you see? The only one that was poison. You, come here. It's not bad though. Forgot about this. So that's all of our Overwatch is wasted. No, there's only one left, but still, that would have wasted all of them. Don't struggle. Although they did let her bind and just kill them instead of that taking up a bunch of her turns, or at least more than one turn. Still didn't look at her tag team ability though, which this person isn't holding their gun, or that gun is glitching out on the ground. Can't really control. Oh, she's not even off the ground. I can really orient my camera while it was it's still there. I don't know why it's. The oh, that might be the Codex's gun. But she's over here not off of the ground. Now that's what I wanted to talk about. The the new Marvel game, which is probably what I was in the middle of talking about when I forgot what I was talking about last time. Anyways, the new Marvel game that I was talking about a few times. Made by Fire X, so it's also gonna be a strategy type game. It's like a strategy action card game. Which is weird to me. Because usually a card game is going to be like Hearthstone, if you've seen that, where you just like put a card down. It was like Yu-Gi-Oh, pretty much. That's usually what the card games are and not like and there's strategy in them, but it's not inherently a strategy game. Well, this one is now a strategy game completely. So I'm interested to see how that's going to play out completely. Or like as an entire game, how they're going to set something up where that's not too big of an issue because i'm i assume if people have a hard time trying to play it or just can't get into it they're not going to play it which is going to lose some sales so how they're going to do it in such a way that people are going to keep buying the game i don't think you need to break that window first it seemed pretty clean 
but it is a new game that i'm definitely gonna get and hopefully we'll have the money to get it by then now you can use smash on both of them yeah now you can use smash on both of them or what is this quake yeah Quit hiding. still at five uh rage too so you just took both of them out clean and we move up to here Traversing. Oh, did we just kill the prisoner i think we did i'm pretty sure he just died i forgot to like subdue him or something which i think is better for us i don't know what we get for it probably more time off of the investigation if any <laughs> but that would make the most sense this spring break seems connected to our current investigation the room pd will pr provide everything they recover from the scene Oof. downtown to take in city hall we built to be to echo the pre-invasion specifications enjoy a combination skywalk and walking paths with provided which provide amazing views of shaper's lane ascension tower and the iconic starport oh and be sure to visit our brand new memorial museum city 31 tourism council expect to open march 1st 2040. so that also should be open is that to take in the city hall so i guess that's when the city hall was completed is a woman who calls herself Violet. No last name, no known origin. We now know why they're called the progeny. She induced the psionics of each and every member. The sheer psionic power required is alarming. Consider Violet extremely dangerous. I know her. When Advin forced psionics upon me, there were others. Many others. And she was one of them? I never trained with her. Before I escaped, I reached out to her telepathically. And? Her mind kept repeating up. I think it was a poem. I didn't recognize it. We'll see if that helps narrow down who she was before Advent turned her into this. All right. I think we just got to this point, too. I'm glad I had Shelter on this team also because that, because of that voice line it gave us. So now we know that Shelter knew... Shelter, we got this one, I think, in the last three episodes back to back. It's talking about the hot dogs or the not dogs. Anyways, Shelter knows this Sonic lady who's in charge of uh, the progeny. Axiom knew the people from Great Phoenix. But I don't think we have anyone we've known from Sick. Oh, Sacred Coil is, is Cherub. Cherub and the dude ballas mar were both clones of the same person or cherub is his clone one of the two i can't remember so then cherub had this whole back and forth i think we saw it too but cherub had a back and forth in his mind about like is it okay for me to kill him and everyone's like as long as you're not gonna freeze up when it comes time to pull the trigger they really didn't care if he was on the team or not uh this will bring down the unrest in that district also i don't think i need to use dragnet here because it's only gonna go up by one so i might as well save it Instead of continuously using these as soon as I get them. Because that's probably what's putting me in situations like this. Where I can't freeze the district for a more strategical reason or something like that. I turned the game too far down after that. Do we have the one free thing yet? Because you think I know the truth? Or because I'm familiar? Hmm? Entertaining. See, that's how it works. You trust the voice on the radio, then it asks you to do things, little things. You don't mind. The voice on the radio, it's your friend. You can give some leeway to a friend. You tell him, Floyd, you're the only one who knows the truth. Well, you know what? I don't. I know how we conquered your world. Telling you we knew the truth was a big part of that. So Ooh. never listen to a voice on the radio that claims to know the truth instead think for yourself i think we heard that one before too i just forgot that i heard it yes yeah, interesting he's also pretty much telling his people to go away kind of and i don't know if i want to do this mission that's going to bring down the time on this uh on this research right here because it will finish the research if i do it now 
But it's going to give me plus three days towards the assembly, and I really only need two. So in my head, that's kind of a waste. Uh, but if we don't do that, we could freeze this district and just do this one, which would be a better use. And then I can pull down one of these two whenever I have to. So I think I'll do that. Yeah, freeze that district so it doesn't go up to three. And then do this mission to bring this one down. Although, I don't know how many encounters this is. This is only two encounters, so I'll do this and finish the episode. We did just get that scope so we have a full amount of stuff to completely kit out somebody. Plus, there's a superior scope, which is probably going to start going to Blue Blood, who's using an advanced. Which I'm going to switch now, actually. Yeah, so now he should be hitting a lot more. Well, I don't know if I can say a lot more shots, but he's gone up to 105 aim going into these missions. And she's at, oh, she's at 107. That's pretty cool. She has more aim than him, but she also has more stuff helping her out, I guess. She don't know why she has that plus 30. Probably from her trainings, though. Anyways, I was talking about how I didn't have time and then sat here talking all that time. All right, we have two encounters here. Engines, all agents through this entrance get plus 50 dodge. That one's also dodge, and this one's defense, and that's mobility. But mobility will give it to Axiom, of course, actually, because he needs it the most. For dodge, we can give it to Claymore because I feel like he has low dodge. Defense can go to Sword because she might end up either stuck next to somebody or just. Moving in. Um. In general more open i think she plays the way i've been playing there is kind of similar to zephyr used to take out like specific enemies she used zephyr when it came to the praetorians mostly although i didn't give her the ability to deal dam more damage through armor so maybe i didn't do it for the praetorians or i could have played her better to do that anyways we'll go for the resonant no one here or at least no one on his side is alert not alert, but hostile, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm really just going to spread the damage out here. We'll go for a land shot. Just in my head, it makes more sense since he's shooting through a wall. A normal pistol shot probably wouldn't do that too well. Just go for a shot here. Now they're poisoned too. They might die on their turn. Not them or them. I've never used cover rush. Can bonus defense and dodge until the agent's first turn. Interesting. I'll go for this shot though. X one's been pretty good at hitting his like mid range to low shots. Like, it's technically not low, but in my head it's low, like 60 and 70% is low. But anyways, he's in a lot of those 60s. He, I think someone hit a 50 something last time. Where can we land? Can we land this on someone who's going soon? Yeah, we can. The three and the 11 are both. Well, the 11 isn't coming soon, but the three is. So this might take out their turn. I didn't use team up. No, I did use team up in the last one. I was hoping the other one would shoot first to deal more damage to them, but I don't think that even ended their turn either. I'll put it right here. It's going to damage them or not. Actually, damaging them doesn't matter because they're going to move before this bomb goes off anyway. So is anyone else grouped up? They are, but I don't think we can see an angle to get them both. So go for one right here. This one has more health and more armor. So I want them ruptured. And then when this explosion goes off, it's going to shred some of their armor also. And I can use... Uh, I use the sticky bomb on you because that might move you into the range of this explosive. Nope, but it did kill them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Please keep wasting your effort. Okay, they were still berserk, so they did lose their turn. So that's pretty good. Usually the people who use psionics aren't gonna be as affected by psionic effects or like mental effects. And one that was a mental effect. Ooh, not land shot. I'm scared to even click the wrong thing. How often I keep activating stuff that I don't want. Not my best. Yeah, that wasn't a good shot. Plus three mobility that he had isn't really coming through right now. 
Although he does have an angle on everyone but the number four dude, and he could kill three of them if he if I use this. I think I might want to save it though. We just go for another normal shot on. Can we see the number two person? Because it doesn't look like they have any cover for real from us. They might die from the poison. No, because the poison only does two. Poison usually does two damage. Excellent. I've never seen it do three at least. Uh, you're gonna die in a second anyways. But I can drop poison spit like right here. Although it's not gonna get in there. I don't know why this isn't hurting the thrall. This will trap that number two person in that room. Right. No, there's another entrance right there. So they can't just move into there, but they're gonna have to go that way now. Can you see? Who can you see? Go for the number 10. We haven't actually done any damage to them. We just kind of made them skip their turn. So we're gonna bind them up. And that's their turn taken care of. And yeah, they're gonna move this way and across. I don't think oh there's a window right there. Didn't realize. Didn't matter either. I don't know what this bomber is gonna do besides throw a bomb, I guess. Yeah, okay. I don't even know why I questioned the confusion there. He did exactly what I thought he was gonna do. Adrenal surge, this is his first turn. Just took forever to get to it. Or at least it seems like it took forever. All right, cool. And let's go for the number this person. They have the most health. I should be concerned about Axiom running into his Overwatch, but I'm kind of not. So I'll just have him do it. If it lets me. It's definitely Axiom who's glitching out. I haven't had any problems with glitches or anything when I don't accept Axiom as a playable character. No, that's you either. Who's you? Skulls. I'm hoping that I can knock him unconscious or something. Shrugged it off oh, anyway, so I didn't take too much damage. Take but did... just an Whatever. I was going to say, did they just ruin his attack? No, they didn't. That's pretty good. Cool. So he just took out two of the people. So we just have to look for this number two person now. It shouldn't be too bad. Move over here. Moving. Check your fire. Right. Got your back. Only a 56% chance to hit. That's fine though. Gotta give him the stock now. I don't know who has that stock then. Yeah, they only took the two damage from poison. And he managed to land his shot. Alright. Forgot about that bomb, honestly. It was more luck that I moved him than any sort of judgment. You know, I got an angle from here. He's right there. Oh my goodness. I can use subdue. Oh yeah, he's immune to the poison when he has the nano med kit. So, didn't have to worry about that. All right, surprise. Successful shots on enemies down the breach will stun. Cease fire bomb. Wait, did we use the scan already? No, we didn't. I don't know why I didn't use anything. Oh yeah, because everyone went in through separate breach points there. Follow me. I don't think his rage is up at all now though, because he just berserked. Also, for a second it looked like we could see through his ear. I'll probably show it again as a standstill if it's actually there. That's what shots will stun. And we're going to be forced to end this early. No, nah, never mind. Neither of them did enough damage to kill, but still, like, like really, it just it's just me shooting at these two. I guess it does look like we came in on an upstairs level. Oh, there's an Archon down there. I saw the Thrall is panicked, so that's pretty good. The classic silent bullet. 
uh, silent and invisible bullet trick. So that did battle frenzy the archon, even though we didn't deal damage to it. So that's kind of an issue. They're all pretty uh, clumped up right now. And we have this pretty powerful AOE attack. I'm definitely finna use AOE's area for effect, uh, area of effect for those who didn't know. Cool. They're panicked still. Can I bind an Archon? I wonder. Miss. Oh, that's fine though. And I push this rage up. What does tag team do? Using tongue pull on an ally grants that ally one action immediately. Does not. Hang on. Does not affect the target's cooldowns. Okay. That makes sense. That would give me a reason to tongue pull a teammate out of an area that I put them in. Anyways, can I get the Archon? Can I can I bind an Archon? I should be able to see it since I can see everything else in here. So I just can't is what it looks like. Can't even tell. Well, that makes sense because it's covered in rockets. And she would be wrapping her body around. Yeah, okay. It makes sense why she can't pull those things. Nah, you don't get your turn. These dudes are all still grouped up, but they're all going to take shots at Axiom. So I probably should use team up on Axiom right now. Just because of where he is. Also, I can move him out of that area. I can just move him over here. He can heal himself. And then um, ooh, I can also use Lance shot. Actually, I can just use face off because that's going to hit pretty much everyone in there. Probably should have read now because we just walked in. So it's ammo should be full you absolutely could not i think he just wiped the floor almost literally wiped the floor with them he heals to every time do we have to what do we have to leave out we just have to clear it i did just say i was gonna move axiom but that was a fucking lie i'm not gonna move him to safety I don't even think it's in his in his like character like in his strategic list of things to do retreat does not seem like something he would ever it's fine a man is literally gonna have to rage before i try and move him back key uh, i can't get that in position so i'll just use it on them Throwing grenade. now what will this berserk do it's gonna miss which is fine or which is fine but i'm hoping he misses his turn too uh really don't have anything else i can do besides like overwatch yeah i just overwatch him no, I can't do that. I don't have an angle. And I don't have a shot on him either. Yeah, okay, that's why I was throwing all that stuff. I guess I'll just overwatch and see if it still activates. I'm not really sure. Probably won't, because that would mean I have an angle on him, right? Oh, so he just misses his turn. You can uh, sustain the bind. Splattered a hostile. Yeah, okay. He's dead eye here, right? His aim is plus eighty five percent from the jump. Heads up. Still got it. And then we can move to subdue them. Then when they get their turn, they're also going to get shot at by him if, if we don't take them out now. Out. I don't know why I did five damage, honestly. Yeah, the weapon you recovered has been authorized for the squad. Let's see if we can put it to use. Now, I don't know what I just... It was a submachine gun. Yeah. It was between a... I could have bought an assault rifle at the beginning of this episode, but that was a submachine gun that we just dealt with. Uh... I've been used the houses in the fringes, cramped old world, old world buildings. Then the war ended, 
Advent went to detention camps and everyone in the fringe moved to Advent's now vac vacated Highland Square homes. So where did all the former Advent go to when the camps let them out? You guessed it, the same buildings they forced us to live in during the occupation. Set of Bucktown, a local guide to City 31. The curly, ooh, I ain't actually starting to go up. We got the curly constant. I know I've had it before. I can't remember who had it though. Clicking on the wrong thing, hoping to get something new. What does the curly constant do? Look at supplies where we have an inventory. The curly constant grants hail of bullets. That in front of blah, blah, blah. I know when we give it to somebody to let us see what hail of bullets does. This of those. Yeah, we have a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, okay, that's why it's pushing up now. Don't need any more money. The intel is always useful. We can't freeze this district, but we can't pull it down back to pretty much zero. And is everything how I want it to be? It's not. Those two are training. I'll put I'm not training, but in spec ups. I want Zephyr to get her rid of her scar so I can put her back in the team soon. Uh so to do that, then I'm gonna put Zephyr in here and put Torque in spec ops again. This is probably where I have a bunch of stuff because Torque was doing this for a while. We'll still go for more intel because we're gonna need a lot more still for the uh for the field teams. Cause we still have a few left to get to oh, did I do it? No, okay. This one and then the all of these ones need to go to three. Don't know how I keep accidentally doing stuff in a grid like this. This will be the cheapest one to get next too. Anyways, that's going to be all for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm King of Baden. You can follow my other socials in the description down below. Thanks for watching. Did I say subscribe? Make sure you subscribe and I'll see y'all next time.